Well, hello, friends. Welcome to Miss Lynn's Story Corner. Good morning to you. Good morning to you. We're all in our places with bright, smiling faces. And this is the way we start our new day. Ubalortek. All right, friends. Today I brought just a story for you, but it's one of my favorite for the pictures in the story. I love the way the colors look. I love the way the personalities are shown. Look at this. This is called The Story of Little Babaji, and it's written by Helen Bannerman. Get ready for some tigers. Ready? Okay. The Story of Little Babaji. Here's a circle of tigers holding their tails. The story of little Babaji. Once upon a time, there was a little boy and his name was little Babaji. There he is. I think I could be friends with him. Doesn't he look like he'd be a good friend? He'd be fun. His mother was called Mamaji. And here she is. She likes to sew. She has a sewing machine. I wonder what she's making. And his father was called Papaji. And Papaji likes to make things too. He makes pots. Mamaji made him a beautiful little red coat and a pair of beautiful little blue trousers. Now trousers are uh, kind of pants, another word for pants. And there is the red coat that mom made and the blue trousers on the chair and looks like Babaji's waiting by the door, excited to wear the new clothes. And Papaji went to the bazaar, which is the, the marketplace. Papaji went to the bazaar and bought him a beautiful green umbrella and a lovely little pair of purple shoes with crimson soles and crimson linings. Crimson is red, deep red. Red bottom shoe out uh, the shoes and red inside the shoes. And there's Babaji watching his father buy the new shoes while he holds the new green umbrella. And then wasn't little Babaji grand? Oh, he's getting his picture taken and look at his proud mom and dad. Look at the umbrella is about as tall as Babaji. So he put on all his fine clothes and he went for a walk in the jungle. Taking a walk through the jungle on a nice day. <gasps> and by and by, he met a tiger. And the tiger said to him, Little Babaji, I am going to eat you up. <gasps> oh! He looks scared, doesn't he? I would be scared too. A tiger comes out of there. That's a big tiger too. And little Babaji said, Oh, please, Mr. Tiger, don't eat me up. I, uh, um, I, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll give you my beautiful little red coat. So the tiger said, eh. Hmm, very well. I won't eat you this time, but you must give me your beautiful little red coat. Oh, uh, yes. Oh, okay. Look at him. Looks scared under that umbrella. So the tiger got poor little Babaji's beautiful little red coat and went away saying, Well, now I am the grandest tiger in the jungle. And here he is wearing the red coat, but it doesn't fit him. Look, it just goes right across there like a band. His arms are through the sleeves, but it doesn't, doesn't really fit him, does it? And little Babaji went on, and by and by, he met another tiger, and it said to him, Little Babaji, I am going to eat you up. A little Babaji said, Oh, please, Mr. Tiger, don't eat me up. Um, I'll give you my, my beautiful little blue trousers. 
now. So the tiger said, very well, I won't eat you this time, but you must give me your beautiful little blue trousers. Oh. If Babaji gives him the trousers, what will Babaji have on then? Huh? So the tiger got poor little Babaji's beautiful blue trousers and he went away saying, Now I am the greatest tiger in the jungle. And there he is, wearing the blue trousers. Hmm. Do you think those trousers fit that tiger very well? No, I don't think so. They look a little tight. And little Babaji went on, and by and by he met another tiger. And it said to him, Little Babaji, I am going to eat you up. And little Babaji said, Oh, please! Oh, uh, Mr. Tiger, don't eat me up. I'll give you my beautiful little purple shoes with crimson soles and crimson linings. But the tiger just said, huh, What use would those be to me? I've got four feet and you've got only two. You haven't got enough shoes for me. There's Bobaji hiding behind the green umbrella and sticking his foot out. But little Babaji said, uh, mm, well, you could wear them on your ears. Huh. So I could, said the tiger. That's a very good idea. Give them to me and I won't eat you. Not this time. <laughs> Look at the shoes on Babaji's ears. And you can see he's only in his underpants now. So the tiger got poor little Babaji's beautiful little purple shoes with crimson soles and crimson linings. And he went away saying, now I am the grandest tiger in the jungle. And there he is, wearing the shoes on his ears. I think they look pretty good. I like the curly parts. And by and by, little Babaji, guess what? Yep, he met another tiger and it said to him, Hell, little Babaji, I am going to eat you up. And little Babaji said, Oh, oh, oh please, Mr. Tiger, don't eat me up. Oh, I'll give you my, what? What do you think he's got left to give him? Yep, I'll give you my beautiful green umbrella. But the tiger said, oh, how can I carry an umbrella when I need all my paws for walking with? You, you could tie the knot on your tail and carry it that way, said little Babaji. So I could, said the tiger. Give it to me and I won't eat you this time. It's a pretty big looking tiger. All these tigers have been pretty big. So, he got poor little Babaji's beautiful green umbrella and he went away saying, Now I am the grandest tiger in the jungle. And he was wearing that, well he was holding it with a knot in his tail. Now don't you think that would hurt? Now, I don't know because I don't have a tail, but I don't think it would feel very good to tie a knot in it. But he looks like he's pretty happy about it actually. Hmm. And poor little Babaji, he went home crying because the cruel tigers had taken all his fine clothes. <laughs> but there he is, walking home in his underwear. What is he going to say to his mother? She made those clothes for him. And then what about his father who bought those shoes for him and that umbrella? Presently, he heard a horrible noise. It sounded like this. Grrr, grrr, and it got louder and louder. Grrr, grrr. Oh, oh no, 
said little Babaji. There are all the tigers, and they're coming back to eat me up. What shall I do? So he ran quickly to a palm tree, and he peeped around it to see what the matter was. Well, he doesn't have anything left to give them. I don't know what he's going to do now. And there he saw all the tigers, and they were fighting. They were disputing which of them was the grandest. And at last they all got so angry that they jumped up and they took off all the fine clothes. And they began to scratch at each other and tie, bite at each other and show their claws to each other and their great big white teeth. Well, I'm the grandest. I'm the grandest. I am the grandest. There they are. This picture shows how they are getting tough with each other. <laughs> Who is the grandest? And look at little Babaji behind the tree watching. Oh, how many tigers? One, two, three, four. Four tigers. Mm. They don't see Babaji. And they came rolling and tumbling right to the foot of the very tree where little Babaji was hiding. But Babaji jumped up quickly and he in, and in behind the umbrella he grabbed that and the tigers all caught a hold of each other's tails and they were wrangling and scrambling and so they found themselves in a ring around the tree. And you can see Babaji sneaking away with the umbrella and the clothes, and the tigers are grabbing each other by the tail. They're not going to let each other go. Well, sure, I've got the tail. I'm not going to let you go either. Then, when the tigers were very far away, so they looked very, very small, little Babaji jumped up and called out, Oh, tigers! Tigers! Why have you taken off all your clothes? Don't you want them anymore? <laughs> but the tigers only answered, Gotta got got let go of the tail. Gotta hold on to the tail. Then little Baji said, If you want them, just say so, or I'm going to take them away. But the tigers could not let go of each other's tail, and they could not talk with the tail in, each, in their mouths. All they could say was, just tell me, do you want these clothes anymore? Do you? I will take them. So little Babaji put on the fine clothes and again he walked off. Ta-da! He looks much happier. I'm glad because his mother probably would want to know what happened and he'd have to explain, oh, all about those tigers. He's gonna have to tell her anyway. And the tigers were very, very angry. But still, they could not let go of each other's tails. And there they are, standing there. What are they gonna do? They don't let go of each other. None of them can leave. Hmm. And they were so angry that they ran around the tree trying to eat each other up. And they ran faster and faster. Look at them moving, they're blurred. And they were whirling around so fast that you couldn't see their legs at all. And they still ran faster and faster and faster and faster. And here they are, just a blur. And they all just melted away. And there was nothing left but a great big pool of melted butter, or ghee as it's called in India, around the foot of the tree. Do you think tigers can really turn into butter? They can't, but remember this is a book. And we're just, it's a pretend story. It's fun to pretend. And look at the monkey hanging down looking at that pool of butter.
wonder what he thinks. Did he see it happen? Now, Papaji was just coming home from his work with a great big brass pot in his arms. And when he saw what was left of all the tigers, he said, Oh, oh what lovely melted butter. Why, I shall take some home to Mamaji for her to cook with. So he put it all into the great big brass pot and took it home to Mamaji to cook with. Oh, a puddle of beautiful butter. Kind of a funny place to find some butter. When Mamaji saw the melted butter, wasn't she pleased? Now, she said, we will have pancakes for supper. She does look happy. She looks like she's excited to make pancakes. So she got flour and eggs and milk and sugar and butter. And she made a huge big plate of the most lovely pancakes. And she fried them in the melted butter, which the tigers had made. And they were just as yellowy brown as little tigers. Mmm, yellowy brown pancakes. Yum. And then they all sat down to supper. <laughs> and Mamaji ate 27 pancakes and Papaji ate 55. I wonder how many Babaji ate. Little Babaji ate 169 because he was so hungry. And there he is in his bedroom at night with a full tummy. What an adventure he'd had that day. The end. Well, I hope you enjoyed the story of Little Babaji with me. And now I would like you to wrap your arms around yourself. Give yourself a big hug because it's time to say goodbye and I want to give you a hug first. Feel yourself getting hugged by Miss Lynn. All right, friends. Now it's time to say goodbye, say goodbye, say goodbye. Now it's time to say goodbye. I'll see you later. Bye, friends.